But all anybody wants to talk about is the freshman in the starting lineup, Paige Beckers. Yeah, I mean, she has garnered a lot of attention. And, and after the high school career she had, it's understandable. She had a spectacular high school career. Now, coming in as a heralded freshman, well, we've seen that over the years here at UConn. But for Gino Oriema to say, I knew she was really good. <laughs> and through these many practices that they have had, he said, she's better than I thought she was. So those are some big words from him. And I'm excited to watch this kid play. I mean, we haven't been able to see much practice at all, yeah. uh, the, you know, this preseason. So I'm excited, like everyone else is, to see her play. She passes the ball spectacularly. The first block of the season for Olivia. That was nice help defense by Williams, Nelson Strong on the three. Beckers with the rebound and the putback. They have more depth this year, does UConn. And the steal, Beckers on the run. Points in a Yukon uniform for Avina Westbrook there. Makarov off the pressure gets the steal. Feed from Beckers to Kristen Williams. <laughs> Beckers takes the feed from Makarov, stops and pops. That step through that Beckers did, those are those instinctive things that Gina. But Kristen Williams is there to clean it up. Less than a minute to go. First quarter shot from the corner. I'm impressed with UConn's half court man to man defense. Olivia Nelson Adota strong. And all the workouts she did. Turnover again. Here comes Westbrook on the feed from Griffin. She dumps it under the Beckers, who gets fouled at a bucket. Nice unselfish pass there from Westbrook. <laughs> Beckers got it. Steve Sears couldn't get it to go after the big steps inside. Here's Beckers running with Makarov. Oh, nice return pass. Nice unselfish play between Beckers. Talking about Nelson Dota, 0 for 7 in this third quarter after 5 of 7 in the game. Here's Beckers on the turnover. She'll take it all the way herself this time for the bucket. Beckers, nice feed to Edwards, strong to the rim. UMass Lowell. You know, it's, you know, you knew she was going to pass the ball there. I mean, she just has instincts that you can't teach as she penetrated into that gap. It really makes it tough for the defense to guard. Just think about it. They're, they're playing a zone because they can't guard you in the first place. See, now we get to add that to our repertoire this year. Is what's he thinking under that mask? <laughs> There's Becker's hopes of success in this ball game. Yeah, that was one thing Gino told us. You know, they shoot 30 a game. There's Becker's. Good active hands by Makarot on defense. Beckers will run end to end. Switches the ball to the right hand and lays it in. Her jump shots. And you could just tell she feels more confident. There's Beckers from Williams for two. Beckers for three. Yes. Looking to expand their lead back to double digits. Beckers feeds. Olivia saw the defender coming. A nice stop and hesitation to get the bucket. Beckers on Park Lane. Right to the rim. That's the patience and the, the offensive attacking that Gino wants. Pass ahead to Anna Makarot. She'll feed back out to Beckers. Inbound. Nelson Adota with a contested shot. Nice control. He can't get it to drop. Beckers on the run. No defender anywhere near her. Well, that was a little bit of a, a hope for a shot. Beckers had time to set the feet. Aliyah Edwards has checked into the ball game for UConn for Nelson Adota. Beckers stops and pops. That's, that's her move. The defender trails coming around that screen. Kristen Williams ahead of the defense. Beautiful pass from Beckers. Struggling a little bit earlier in the game. Beckers to a wide open. Kristen Williams. Yes. 5.3 left. Screen by Edwards. And to end for Beckers. Yes! I'd say that worked well. I mean, what a screen that was. Monster screen. 
by Aaliyah Edwards. Tremendous body control. And a chance to add one more to it. Oh, wrap the, the arm around, the okay. Arm around, yeah. Beckers to Edwards. Beckers with the soft floater that uses a lot of iron, but goes through. Third quarter, UConn came out of the locker room and roared, and that has continued here into quarter number four. Paige Beckers to Edwards. Gathered it up and put it in. With, they've lost some players, but I tell you, they compete. Beckers. Tend to shoot for the Huskies. Beckers finds space, goes all the way to the rim. Nice hesitation. From outside, off the mark from Ronsick. They're getting the shots they want, though. Beckers to the rim, gets her own rebound, and a foul. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. You gotta remember, it's not like she's 6'5". I mean, just created the offense there, and then the quick explosion back up. Look at that, I mean, so knew it was missing. That's the anticipation. That's the special stuff that you can't really teach kids. Here's Paige, yes, that's for three. Rembaugh, that would go. Here's Beckers with the ball, one on four. And she'll draw the foul on the way to the rim. Beckers off the Griffin screen with a nice feed back to Aubrey. Inside, knocked away. Beckers following Ronsick into the paint. Blocks the shot. It's out. Beckers with the rebound. Inside to Nelson Adota. A step back. Krista cut off, back to Beckers. She got away with a walk. And for Nelson Adota. On the roll. Satterfield gets the shot up, contested. Rebound to Beckers, who has to fight off. One, now two Xavier players. Cutting Kristen Williams draws the foul. When she caught the ball to look at the defense, see what she had, and then spun the podium. Steal by Beckers. Westbrook. Clark. Makarot. Beckers to Nelson Adota. Wow. Beautiful pass from Beckers. And see here the steal. And then watch Beckers. Just sees it coming, looks away. I mean, you can see the blue jerseys. In the post again, spins to the right. <laughs> Mock the rock for both Nelson Dota and Edwards in the ball game here at the same time. From the corner, Beckers. Continue to contribute early in this game. Kristen Williams with the intercept. Beckers with the run out. If you'd like more information, Edwards, strong to the win. Her first points of the ball game. Beckers for three. And Westbrook intercepts the pass. Huskies look to run. Beckers out ahead of the pack. Oh, what the? How did she get that to the rim? Beckers to Nelson Adota. Beckers. She is so good at... Williams, wide open. Beckers cuts, nice feed from Makara. Beautiful step through the middle by Gray. Westbrook all alone for three. Edwards saves. 
And that is going to be a three-shot foul for Paige Beckers. That is how hard they play all the time, regardless of the score. But the young guys have to figure that out. Beckers gets fouled on her way to the rim. on the run. Got it. <laughs> Beckers will take it all the way in and make it. The right-hander off the glass. I see blue jerseys cutting through the lane. Ten to shoot. Now Beckers dribbles her way into some space and drains the shot. It was Carter with the rebound. Halfway down. Beckers. I tell you, she read the defense and split through there so beautifully. You know, the key on the break is to try to make a move when the defense isn't set. And Villanova wasn't set. She just sliced through. Look at that. Just sliced through those two defenders. What a smart play by the freshman. Beckers with the nice athletic adjustment on the inbounds pass when Segris came over for the block. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Beckers. Gets fouled. That is going to be. Gets position on Mortensen and back in this third quarter. Williams cut off by Segrist, but what a nice move. Plus, and counting scoreless for the Wildcats. Beckers. 13 now for Page. <laughs> Aubrey Griffin trying to get position inside. Beckers will drive. Get cut off. They'll call a foul on the floor. Then Mortensen gets the miss. Beckers gets the steal. End to end for Page for two more. Heads up play by the freshman there defensively. And she will make the triple. Westbrook, that's for three. Beckers. A good boxing out by the Huskies. Beckers to Nelson Adota on the run. You could, uh, DePaul smart defensively, does a lot of switching. You kind of have to communicate. Beckers with the steal. And the first points of the game to Page. Beckers, yes, that's a three. Nice pass. And Beckers drains the three. Really good play there, so hard. Both are very scrappy. Game's got a nice intensity to it. Beckers, four three. Beckers to Nelson Adoda. Back to Beckers. Nice movement without the basketball. Got a minute and a half to go in this third quarter. Nelson Adoda left wide open in the. Ten to shoot. Beckers. That was from outside the men's three point line, I believe. Kind of hesitated on the way to the rim with a lot of traffic closing in. Nice and long. The rock runs ahead of the pack. Down feeds Beckers. Beckers splits defenders, couldn't get the shot to fall. Beckers. Shoot more, score more. Well, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Fired up. That can change the momentum. Three freshmen, two sophomores on the floor now. Makarov from the corner again. Kind of a bizarre lineup together, but this group has done an outstanding job of changing the tempo of the game, bringing a lot of energy. Beckers makes it a 10-0 UConn run. McClay. Beckers with the block. Edwards got a hand in there also. Good half-court stance there by UConn. 
Ali Edwards runs the floor and back. Defense, 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 defense. Beckers with the step back. Could not make the Huskies pay. Yeah, Gino's irate that they're still getting wide open shots. Beckers wide open. He doesn't like the way they're playing. So it's Nelson Adota. Beckers, who draws the foul, shooting three. Griffin Westbrook and Makarot, the five on the floor for the Huskies. Nelson Adota just barely got that pass. Beckers, nice use of the glass. The season 20, put up 28 on the Bulldogs. Nice pass into the paint to Olivia Nelson Adota. Three seconds and counting. Here's Fosa, throws it up. That'll be way off the mark. And we reach. Spurak's miss, rebounded by Westbrook, whose name we're suddenly calling constantly. Cut by Beckers. Athletic spin will draw the foul. No, Kristen Williams with a nice rebound. Beckers. That's an example where she is now taking shots where maybe she wouldn't have the reaction in her foot. Yeah. And But Gino Ram is so high on her. Beckers got a three there. Beckers with the steal and the run. She's had really great anticipation on that wing. Kristen Williams with the interception. Adina Westbrook from the corner for... Aubrey Griffin cuts. You know what? You gotta love the confidence. Well, knocked away in the paint from Ellen Ross. Here come the Huskies running. Westbrook out ahead of the field. He's sleeping a little bit. Williams lets it fly. Yep. You can make an eight-footer. Nelson Adota with the nice pass from mm -hmm. Beckers. Oh, wow. I mean, she's six one. Westbrook with the nice kick out. And Beckers drains the three. Gee, you think they drew that up in the huddle? To start. Kristen Williams left wide open. Game, the second half of the game with three fouls in their corner. Westbrook to Beckers. Yep. Really good ball movement inside out. That is just her first of this ball game. Beckers, yes, that's a three. Nelson Adota was going to take that three pointer for a second. Beckers inside to Nelson Adota, who got position and puts it up and in. Ran into traffic. Beckers feeds Mule. Finally, and that's for three. It's the red sweater. I, I just think his, you know, his team is doing what he wants them to a lot. There's Beckers with a nice pass from McLean in a bucket. Team. Two players lead a team in scoring. Beckers just with too much pace for the defense to chase her down. Trouble a season ago in this matchup. Beckers, what a quick first step. Paige Beckers is fouled and will shoot two. He is working hard inside, offensive boards, running the floor, resulting in layups. Nice five, Beckers to Griffin for the bucket of the foul. The one thing you talked about, Rebecca, as Beckers, jumper is good. First field goal of the game for the freshman Paige Beckers because they obviously have not gotten to experience that this season much at all. They said, I think we're in the Lights go on, you'll see a different energy from our team than you have seen all season. Pull up jumper is good from Kelly Harper. Transition D against this UConn team. They haven't given them many opportunities as issue for Tennessee this year. But they all every single player I talked to for Tennessee said, we know that we melted down last year. We're not gonna do it this time around. Gets a look from the corner and hits. Opportunity in transition. Oh, the Euro step by Williams. The follow by Paige Beckers. Finally gets one to drop. Beckers the tip, and it's out of bounds off of Burrell. The defense from the freshman Beckers. And Tennessee turns it over. 
showing some emotion. Paige Beckers is at her best when she can lead her team. She's getting it going now. Little on the offensive end, little on the D. To Edwards, Westbrook's fingerprints all over this fourth quarter. What, oh, what a dish. Beckers finding Williams for the layup. Five to shoot. Williams in trouble. Three to shoot. Beckers a three. You bet. Paige Beckers, limp and all, connecting on a three with the shot clock fading. And UConn's lead is five. It looked like UConn was stuck, moving the ball around. Nothing open. One more pass. Paige Beckers delivers. She's had a struggle at times tonight shooting the basketball. Ooh, and she knows it. So the Dota just has the ball taken away by Destiny Slocum. Up ahead to Daniels, picked off by Williams. Beckers, count it, going to the line. He couldn't be there tonight, but I promised her we would say hello to her dad. And Holly, her high school coach, her trainer, and some of her playing well. UConn has now hit its last eight shots. Square off against Luka and the Mavs. Our NBA Friday coverage starts with NBA countdown at 7 Eastern. Talks of Kayla McBride possibly going to the Minnesota Lynx. Oh, man, that'd be a great addition. It's going to be an interesting next couple of days. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. Westbrook answers. Westbrook double team. Beckers flashes to the corner, gets the three. Beckers fade away. Players, and the majority of them, are available tonight. But conditioning could be a factor. Arkansas has been pushing the pace. She just had such patience. She knows help's going to come, but it's not going to stay. It's just a little stunt, and then she takes advantage of the crease. Paige Becker's trying to keep Connecticut in this one. Keep reloading. Daniels foul. She's gotten on that train today. The way she has defended and rebounded inside. Arkansas just needs to one on one. Make sure you're making UConn take a contested shot. But ooh, Paige Becker. And UConn with the tip. Beckers, they don't waste any time off of that. It's Westbrook with the lay-in. Not the way you want to start if you're DePaul. It's the style, the makeup of their team. Uh, similar. And a lot of that came down to shot making. What did the foul trouble in that first meeting against UConn as well? Nelson Adoda takes the dribble for the lay -in from deep. She normally can knock down those clean looks. But UConn wants to run a little bit, and nicely done on the fast break. It's Williams with the finish. Classic run out for UConn. Four different times already in the first quarter this game has been tied. Here's Beckers with the take, and it runs out. She'll get a couple at the free throw line. Beckers for three. Some hot shooting here from both of these teams to begin with. And the hustle and the Huskies on the push. Mule to Peckers, to Edwards in the first quarter. Here's Edwards with the elbow jumper and she drills it. Eating up some time on this possession. Now nine to shoot for Peckers and she drills it from deep. Oh, what a shot. Beckers for three again, dialing it up from distance, and she's a perfect three for three from three on the afternoon. And Paul, about a minute 30 left to play in the first half. Beckers almost taking the contact, didn't matter. This is the, what you're talking about. She wasn't sped up on that play. Last opportunity here for UConn before the half is here. They leave Beckers wide open, and she can do that. Beckers. Being D'd up defensively by Deja Church. 
out into the corner that time. It's a three for a three. Avino Westbrook hits areas that you normally improve. You figure out your team. You learn about your group. And on the transition, it's Nelson Adono with the finish. She said, you see that in Beckers already is a freshman. And I think qualities like that are so important. And on cue, Beckers with the backdoor look. Three point makes in a game. Out to Beckers. Plenty of time to pull and fire and hit. It's against a monster of a team and this is over. You got a lot of time left. Nelson Adota. Double the work that these young women pour into their games. And congrats to Tanah from Kristen Williams. She was impressed on that move. No look pass this time to Griffin and she's in double figures with 10. Doug Bruno and DePaul have yet to beat UConn and Gina Oriema. The series is 18 to 1. She was looking for Mule who cut the other way. Now 10 to shoot for UConn. Beckers on the cut. Nice. Really good movement without the ball by Beckers. Too. And they want her to continue that trend, particularly here tonight. She's playing well early. Becker stops and drops it. It's going to go to working hard, trying to get the ball. Not going to work, so she'll roll. Nice play between Beckers and Nelson Adota. Big East matchup between St. John's and UConn. Good kick to Mule by Beckers. Around, out, and back in for Mule. Looking for Leah Edwards on that defensive lapse. Beckers. Money. It's a great example of, of how Gino tells Paige Becker time and time again, shoot more, find your shot. There she created something better, but Correa averages 20 points a game for a reason. Good skip pass by Mule over to Beckers, who drops it for three. And then what you love about Arthur Griffin is the energy that she plays with. Beckers draws a triple team. Sorry, Meg. It's okay. She'll come in and change the game as... Beckers. Shot was off the mark. It was contested. Aubrey Griffin picks up the errant ball. Beckers will try again. That one for three. Side. Good hands by Nelson Adota. UConn active hands in the passing lane. Beckers draws the foul. Couldn't make the shot, but Paige Beckers will go to the line. Beckers wide open. And, and we, we alluded to it a moment before. She's not a normal freshman, Paige Beckers. St. John's had six turnovers in the last six minutes of the second quarter as Beckers makes it another turnover and will go coast to coast. She made her presence felt in a number of ways for UConn. Beckers with the roll, feeds it back out. Nelson Adota from just inside the three-point line. I mean, what an unselfish pass against Nelson Adota. Drake, the handle, Westbrook came up with it, and Beckers was already running. St. John's didn't even bother to run back. Westbrook calling for a screen. Now Westbrook, sorry, Beckers. Beckers will drop it in. And UConn will get it to Beckers. Around and out. McLean again with an offensive rebound. Back to Beckers. That one goes. <laughs> she was 0 for 3, but she got, you know, a little bit of those nerves out of the way. That's right. Beckers. That's a new season high. That was a smoother release. Couple with her teammates. With help from Olivia Nelson Adota on the screen, Beckers with a three. Oh, nice. How about that pass? Was, was Beckers even looking, but she knew Edwards was there. Beckers, the kick out to Mule. One dribble to get away from a closing Bailey and a bucket for Nika well, Mule. And, and Beckers could have shot the ball. I noticed that last game, too. First quarter or so, he was kind of just taking it all in. He complains about the slow start. There's Beckers. Had I to get a handle on it. Yeah, it almost looked like a walk. Kristen Williams. Got away with a walk. And got a bucket. I'm not sure why she didn't shoot that. Beckers shoots that one. Beckers on the run out. The big Euro step up and in off the glass. I don't know if that's what she had. in holes in the middle of the lane. So Westbrook to the bench, Edwards back into the ball game. There's Beckers, feeds a wide open Nelson Adota. Perfect pass. And a run. 
Nico should have looked to shoot the ball. Beckers fires. That's three. That's never a bad choice, though, giving it to Beckers. Yep. To Carlin into the ball game for Marquette, one of the freshmen on this squad. Beckers. You're <laughs> kidding me. Beautiful play by Beckers. Beckers will get the final shot of the half and drain it. And the Huskies on the turnover. Beckers for three. You know, she wasn't coming off screens and Marquette. Beckers for three, yes. Just so smooth. Offensive rebound, but it was blocked. Murata with the ball after the block. Knocked away by Beckers. Here come the Huskies. <laughs> Tough shot <laughs> falling to the floor. No contact. Beckers left wide open. Another three. Well, and that's what you've got to do against the zone is that she's not playing because he told us earlier that everyone's playing besides Makarov. Beckers drains another three on the inbounds play. Marquette just hasn't been able to knock down shots, and now UConn playing with so much confidence on the defensive end. Mule with the no look pass to Beckers who drops the three. In SEC country, she's trying to spread out and expand her game in her sophomore season in that manner. Beckers looking for the deuce, and she gets it from the baseline. Lone senior. I can relate to that. I, I loved my seven front or seven sophomores, rather, but goodness. <laughs> On the transition, it's really, it feels like Leticia and me here could be exactly that for the Gamecocks here tonight. I mean, she can guard one through five. When she goes right off her penetration, she's terrific. Clock debate, the reason for the pause there. It was at 20, but they bumped it up back to 30 and a fresh possession here for UConn. Beckers with the mid-range and silky smooth on that shot. Quality screens, high low with me here in Boston. Potentially, that's not it. Beckers with the pick, the take, the two. You can already see what UConn was missing offensively and defensively with Aubrey Griffin out of the game. Oh, look at that pass and the finish from Edwards. Textbook. Backdoor look that time. Baseline jumper is good for Becker. I'll tell you what. Being defended by Henderson. Same starting five to begin this third quarter for both of these teams. Another backdoor look and a couple of buckets. It's another offensive rebound for Saxton. Becker, it's a transition bucket, and that's Williams' first points of the night. Channeling a little Tom Brady from last night, shall we? I don't mean to pour some. And off here to Beckers. Oh, a nifty wow. creative shot. Wow. Right now, that's the tally for Aaliyah Boston here so far. Three-point edge for UConn. That play has worked. Nelson Adota being like the point guard and finding Beckers for two. They're going to have to sit down and protect themselves from these back doors. No Beckers again this time. Grasshopper, Boston teaching Edwards in that moment. <laughs> Final few seconds here of the quarter. Beckers comes the glass. You can count it for two. I got stuck. No one was able to make themselves available. She had to take a very tough shot. So what can UConn do with it in this possession? Giving it to Beckers. Nails the 15-footer. He's got it up top. Beckers with 20 points in this game. Being defended this time by Beal. Beckers tying it at 54. Mm. There for Beckers, and it's off to the races with Cook. And Beckers drawing the foul on Zaya Cook. This game, as, as the winners of the previous matchup, maybe they can get two straight. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, Lisa, I was impressed with how... Or, mm, wow, impressed with Paige Beckers always. The shot clock is still in play, so you kind of have to look the score. Beckers from around the screen, caught for the lead. Trying to... One-point edge. Beckers giving it up to Nelson Adota. Back to Beckers, who will let it fly. Yeah. <laughs> the magic of Paige Beckers. You bet. Wow. Are you kidding? Tried to roll. Pass was deflected by Nelson Adota. Huskies run. Mule to Beckers for a bucket. Perfect pass from Mule. And that finally goes. A lot of fouls. It's a physical game. Yeah. 
All right, let's see if Beckers can get another one here. Yes. That long arch, long, well, what is it, a long? <laughs> long reach. Outstretched arm, that's what it is. <laughs> There's Beckers. Nice pass from Westbrook. Still a lot of standing around. Beckers drives, dishes, Nelson Adota scores. Nice pass. Something we haven't said a lot this year, but has been said a lot the last two games. Back and forth we go. There's Nelson Adota. Got that one. Five-point UConn lead. Beckers, yes, for three. <laughs> you heard Jamel Elliott scream one time. <laughs> yeah. Griffin ends up with it. Beckers splits players and one. Smart, aggressive take. And Westbrook will come away with it for UConn. Avita Westbrook in the last three games was three of 19 from the floor. There's the feed to Beckers. That's in the bucket. UConn communicated well, switched. Beckers for three. You know, they just have, they've had a little bit more in there, Park Lane, with, with the foul. Beckers for three. Gary Apple and Carol Walters coming up for a full recap of tonight's game as Beckers goes for another bucket. The need to have a shooter to beat defenses like this. Elbow J on the way, and that's a swish. Malia Edwards drops it down. Playing off the ball. A point guard in her stud high school days in Minnesota, where certainly she was a capable scorer, and there she shows it. There's the best outside shooter in the country raining it down. Sue Bird asked, which one you want? Uh, that was and one tape to me. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know, prior to hitting that shot, Kristen Williams, on the previous shot that she shot short, they needed, but Avina, E as he called her, has the most experience on this squad. Becker's contact. That seemed like a, a more veteran move by Becker's to kind of swing and lean in. The historic little situation we got here in McDonough. Um, please, someone let that man use their cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair thought. I love that post up there, though, by her. And Becker's. Drops it down from deep. Her second make from outside. Now from that spot on the floor, it's a lot of dribbling for her. Williams shaping up in the corner. Three ball. First fuel to 17-4 run for UConn to end the first half. High low. Nelson Adota. She was on the bench in foul trouble. So often and methodically, no real true plays a lot of the time. So much read and react. Becker's wide open. <laughs> and that's a weapon they didn't have in their first matchup this year. But and Becker's a little worse for that wear. A little hitch in her stride. Now takes the contested J. And oh, that at least is true. <laughs> you sure about that hitch? In her hands at any one time. And you got to be aware of everyone else and help it. Becker's contested. She'll go to the line. Let's take a look at when the, and an appreciation of the history of all of sport and all of the world. Uh, and, and he loved that open style. He, he saw relationships. McLean wanted it, goes opposite. Extra pass, Becker, stride inside with one of a timer, bucket. <laughs> she's, oh, she's so good off the bounce, that, that one and two dribble pull up. And she is a key to what Joe Tardinello is trying to accomplish here in Queens. Becker's, that's for two. No, that's for three. Nelson Adota sets the screen. Cut off. The defense by Correa. Becker shakes it and makes it go. The last five from three-point range, but stops that trend as Beckers stops that pass. Huskies with numbers. And a foul drawn by Beckers as she tried the big Euro step to get to the rim. And Farley. Kristen Williams wide open for three. Too strong, gets her own miss. Back outside. Beckers buried it. Nobody but blue jerseys there for the rebound. The run ahead by Beckers. All the way to the rim and got it. Share the rebound. Did they get half rebounds on the stat sheet? Just asking for a friend. Nelson Adota. Yes. Off the Nelson Adota screen. Beckers with the bucket. Beckers uses screen so perfectly on Correa here in this first half. 
Aubrey Griffin around Nolan with the left-handed bucket. It's by UConn. Deckers runs. The floating pass to Nelson Adota. To cut Lelani Correa off. They tried to get it inside to Farley, but Avina Westbrook was there again. Kristen Williams runs and gets it. Perfect pass from Beckers. Nelson Adota. Yes. And only 10 threes all season leading into tonight, but she's got a couple of them that have gone in tonight here for the Red Storm. There's Beckers for three. That is her specialty. Team total in quarters one and two. Beckers to Edwards. That was pretty. And here come the Huskies with inside of a minute now. Beckers, yes. Now inside of a minute to go in quarter three. Oh, no. Just such a well-rounded effort. Aaliyah Edwards with the bucket. Tend to shoot for UConn. Wow. Beckers to Westbrook to Beckers in the bucket. Beckers gets fed by Mule. The bucket and the foul. Beckers to a running Nelson Adota. Got it. Did by Westbrook. And the shot missed. Beckers feeds Williams on the run. Nice patience. What vision. She'll slow it down and let the Husky set up some offense. Beckers for three. <laughs> She's fine. Aubrey Griffin. Beckers cuts and one. How about that upper body strength to get fouled? And that doesn't go. Beckers on the run-out pass to Williams. How did she catch that and put it up and in? Incredible catch by Williams and finish. Mule to Beckers to Westbrook. Beckers almost couldn't get the ball out of her hands quickly enough. As we come down to a minute and a half to go in this opening half. Ball on the floor. Kristen Williams comes up with it. Beckers out ahead of the pack. And one. I thought that was a late whistle, too. 6'4 junior from here in Cincinnati on the scoreboard. Kristen Williams left alone. Rebound tipped away from Harkey and Edwards, Beckers, Williams. And there's a few of those we've seen today. Williams will slow it down. Beckers feeds Edwards and one. What a pass by Beckers. Beckers for three. Yes. Rebound keeping the possession alive. Tend to shoot for the Huskies. You will take the shot and make it. Pass missed. Bachelor cutting. Here's Buell with the Huskies on the run. Beckers. Nicely done. Really nice catch by Beckers and a good look by Mule. There's Beckers. To an open Mule. Another one. Kristen Williams running. Nice pass in. And a bucket. Sarda works the screen. Blocked. Rocky shot blocked. Adota also out. Shot clock down to five. Nice feed to Edwards by Beckers. And one. Look like she twisted her ankle. Beckers. That's a two. By Aubrey Griffin, who got a block. And Beckers intercepts the pass. Two for Page. Beckers is an outstanding defensive player. Beckers. Yes. Uh, quite savvy is this freshman. Nice pass. Nelson Dota and one. Good rebound. And Huskies come away with it. Beckers. Feeds a running mule. Two big steps in a bucket. Beckers to Nelson Adota. What a pass. Mismatch here. Beckers anticipates and steals. Draws a foul. Both players down hard. Go. Nelson Adota with good position for the rebound. Huskies run. Edwards ahead of the pack. 
What a pass. A defended. Shot clock down to 10 for UConn. It's a great flash. That's where it's going to be open. In the middle of that lane. Nice oh. on the road. Mule. Yes, for three. He's a Get another chance here to add on to their six-point lead. Becker's inside to Nelson Adota. Strong. Yeah, she's got such a height advantage in the lane. Here's Westbrook. Yes, That's in so far. Beckers for three. And got it. I was just thinking to myself, Beckers hasn't taken a shot. Intercepted by Beckers. Another steal, another bucket. Taken away by Aliyah Edwards. Huskies run. Beckers all the way in. Floater. Good. But again, you got to give credit to Butler. Beckers just got away with a foul. Wow. Dumps it down to Williams. Who gets it in? Mule hesitated, fired. Beckers feeds Westbrook. Nicely done. Beckers kicks to Westbrook. Who drains the three? Beckers with all kind of time and space in the quarter. Beckers for three. Yes. Beckers for three. So smooth. Williams with time to set the feet. See, Beckers dr dribbled over to the right, having already seen Williams over in that left corner. And especially in the big moments when the team needs her the most. Into Nelson Adota. Through a double team. And this, in. this was, they were working on this play earlier. And 10 to shoot. Beckers stops and pops. That's a perfect play because that middle of the zone. Blocked. Williams got a hand on that from Adika. Mule with the rebound. Ahead to Beckers. Who gets it? Perfect pass from Mule. 678 points as a freshman for Maya Moore. Here's Mule. That's three for her as a freshman. Beckers on the nice pass from Mule, and that's a triple. Who's defended well, and Edwards comes away with the ball. Mule to Beckers, back to Edwards, and the freshman connection on that one. Under three minutes to go here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Paige Beckers to Aaliyah Edwards. There is the single game record for assists for Paige Beckers. Slams on the brakes. Up top, hesitation, Westbrook. Beckers wide open with one on the timer. Megan Duffy, very impressed. Me too. Becker's elbow J. The twine barely budges, Julianne. Nika Mule oh, threads the needle to Becker's. Becker's. In overtime, three point shots. They have been very close, but haven't won a title since 2016. Becker's. Westbrook. Becker's. Look to Edwards on the cut. How does she see a pass like uh, that? Just terrific patience, and she's got an instinct for the game. Get back, because they are just the easy ones. The UConn doesn't give up often. Becky, jumper, her first point since the last minute of the opening quarter, and that's... Yeah, she's ninth in the record books. <laughs> she's pretty good. Five today, and there's another bucket. It's open. <laughs> And here's Williams from Beckers. Kristen Williams. Her throughout this game. Paige Beckers with the first points of her postseason. Couple possessions now for St. John's, just no shot clock awareness. And there's Nelson Adona on the other end of transition. Nelson Adoda from Beckers. Point victory for Marquette, and especially at this time of year. Oh, Beckers with the pick six. Paige Beckers all the way. Clock for Clegg. Clegg between two defenders. Shut down by Beckers. Edwards to the deck. This is postseason basketball. Beckers fouled. Yeah, you can see the intensity. 
Newell has been non-stop in making things happen. Her third steal, and off it to Beckers. Beckers points and hits. Paige Beckers' first triple of the day. Link. Beckers and Correa getting tangled up. Now Beckers with the left hand. Shooter, that has been a really big part of her game. Just ridiculous figures. The legend growing game after game. Beckers on the pull up here. Paige Beckers as advertised. So that was the balance of trying to strategize because UConn's been so strong in the paint like that. Paige Beckers has 17 that she coaches in the tournament is a first-time experience for her trying to lead her alma mater into the championship game. Kristen Going down low Williams. to Kristen Williams for the first two for the Huskies. Silva, they get on the board almost four minutes here into this quarter and into this game. Here's Becker's first shot. It's the beauty, too, of the actions of the play. She, then you've got the freshmen that they've all tried to blend together. They found this chemistry. Here's Beckers going eye off the class. She hasn't taken many shots, but she's hit all two of the ones she has taken. How in her first playing time here in the semis? Here's Beckers who rips it away, and she's off to the races with the easy lane. She has been pay, playing the passing lane throughout the course of this whole game. Every pass UConn is going for. It's so active defensively. Beckers back to Williams, in and amongst the trees for another two. Shot clock is actually just slightly in play on this possession. And we got a push off. Beckers blowing past Segrist and gets hacked that time by Raven James. There's so much movement with Villanova. They're making some great cuts, some nice reads, some good passes. Just not finishing. Mm -hmm. will come back and respond. You know, I was going to the Wildcats. It has been a rough go, and again, because of that, you guys have to get out and run. Good game at the Big East Tournament. Backdoor look, Beckers looking to finish it off. Yeah. Body bucket and run with .8 left. Player to player, though, that's what it is. Here's one of those pickoffs, and Beckers going to give it up to Westbrook for two. Well, it's been something to watch this Husky team grow, and there it is, you're passing. Nelson Adota picking up another assist. And Angel McCautry, and now Maddie Segrist, and that's it in Big East history. And it's tough to always decipher exactly how the committee is going to look at things and what areas they weight most heavily. Edwards there for two. We know what we have to play up to. And it's Beckers. She did there defensively. UConn coming off arguably its two best defensive performances in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals. Two possessions and a quick five points. Defense. Mule sizing it up for three. Time here for Marquette. She provides a little bit of defensive presence for the Golden Eagles this year. Beckers, back-to-back -back three point shots here for UConn. Huskies are locked in. And all five players getting back here for Marquette. Beckers to Westbrook. Oh, they're on fire. Moving for UConn. 83% from three, and they're looking for more in the final few seconds. Beckers trying to beat the clock, and she does. UConn has hit six of its last eight shots. Absolutely rolling. We're told that Olivia Nelson Odota had a uniform issue that she had to take care of, which is the reason why she took the trip to the locker room. This tournament slowly bringing her back, but she played the most minutes that she has 14 minutes against Nova in the semis. That's another bucket for Beckers. For Williams, Beckers gets the offensive rebound. UConn's got four offensive rebounds. That's a two shot. I mean, come on. What, what do you do? What do you do with that? With the ball, and because of that, she could be ahead of the play. Yeah, that answer intrigued me a lot as they give it out to Mule. A little fist pump. Thought about it. They'll chew up some more time. Now nine seconds on the timer. Going back to all for Beckers with the lay-in finish. And you continue to see. We saw those same actions on the right side. 
Oh, you know, that tight coverage forced that turnover. And off and running, here comes UConn again. Williams to Beckers for the lane. It's a clinic. Just by her example and how she plays. There is Beckers on cue. Her second three-point make for one of Marquette's best leaders and scores. King with the crossover. But just her motor, that type of energy coming off the bench. Before another broadcast, Rebecca Lobo seeing the same type of thing and just said even the fact that the charisma of Beckers, the shot-making ability to get ready because the Panthers were put a lot up tonight. Oh, yeah, they averaged 10 and a half in a five-point deficit. Beckers bounced that one off her teammate, able to track it back down. Cage will pull up. And a little fade on it, and Beckers has her first. And she's just solid. She's so solid, makes the right plays, makes the right passes. Woo. Rejection there by Paige Beckers. Opening day. And don't forget, coming up after this game, said about Paige, just the same for Skyler. You don't want her to have to do everything. She has seven points right now of the team's 15, so she scored almost half of the team's points. Mm -hmm. And the athletic trainer, Janelle Francisco, do some mobility tests with her. She was able to move her left ankle, or that right ankle to the left and to the right. It, it's, it's the anticip anticipation of this big game and wanting to have an impact as Paige Beckers gets a layup, but it's just wanting and you knew, it was only a matter of time. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it was only a matter of time before they were going to start making some, the law of averages, and you talked about it. Now that Nikki Mueller's went out, Paige Beckers knows that, and you see that the, she started getting hot at the time that Nika went out. Beauty. One of Becker's good buddies, Caitlin Clark, had a good start to her NCAA tournament career at Iowa. And Georgia Tech able to hang on the wreck advance in overtime. Yeah, and don't look now. High Point got hot in a hurry. It's raining from deep right now, and that could come into play later in the game. Wyatt. And that's exactly what I mean by Claire White. If you can't get a three because the defense is all over you, something else is probably open. And for Paige Beckers, everything's open. Oh. Yeah, she's getting up. Player of the year. Beckers tough with contact, gets it to go. And at that point, you have to just be a coach on the sidelines. You know, you don't want to be there hurt, but since you are there, you can provide knowledge. And Paige Beckers can provide buckets. Making a run. And that was a friendly roll right there on that three point. My goodness, look at that pass. It's been a tough night. They have managed to take her away from downtown. Oh, tough catch again. In and one off glass. And opening day is went, went pretty as scripted as Paige gets her hands on it. Looks like it's going to be a pick six. You're going to like this young lady because. She's got a little flavor, a little flair, and I think the passing is picking back up with Paige Beckers. <laughs> with those ballers beside me, so Paige might be the first. Oh, uh, Williams running the floor. Hoping for the nights of their lives here tonight. Williams with the push. Beckers, pretty assist, and one. Is it ever since that turnover, and that's what you like to see in a young player, short-term memory, as Williams now gets a tip, and we're off to the races. And Beckers with her first basket. Beckers off the bounce with the bump short and a trip to the free throw line for Paige. To work the middle of the zone. Beckers just inside the line, got it. Falling. And here she is right on cue with the steal and the, the Lexi lay in. 29 points per game, 45% from downtown and over six assists through the first two rounds. Is There's a clean look for Engsler, dropping the triple. Emily, shoot to get hot, shoot to stay hot, Emily. Saturday night, the Sweet 16. And after the Orange pulled off a couple of upsets, Beckers. Bumped on the shot by Monica here, her first. But if you're her teammates, you have to play through her. She like they talk about it. That's their secret weapon. If that's your secret weapon, then use her. And we talk about the the sounds of the court. Look again, oh, another beauty feed and one. Beckers to Nelson Adota. 
when we talk about the, the sounds of the court. Look again, oh, another beauty feed and one. Beckers to Nelson Adota. Second. And I'm telling you, this is what makes Paige special. The no look, knowing what's going to happen before it happens. She gets excited about the passing. Two of eight from the floor here in the third have not been able to fight their way back in. It held to just eight points. Becker's fouled on the drive. So the one seeds, all winners today to move on. Williams for three, and that's good. Who can hit from deep? Beckers looking for help. Finds it in Edwards again. Oh, yeah. Three point UConn lead. Cross court. Beckers, Westbrook again. It right up against the three point line. Something she remarked to us, and the numbers bear out as well. As Paige Beckers is on the board in the Sweet 16. Defensive board. Becker's leaner is good. Rebound, Clark tried to get it. Nelson Atona just said, uh-uh, snatched it back. Williams, cut it. What is it like to watch your child in this environment? Becker's leans in and finishes. Humbles to the hardwood. Becker's down the other end, leads for Williams. She finds space and finishes. Couldn't finish, good D from Nelson Adota. Westbrook peeling back, Becker's the leaner, yeah. Paige Becker's now with eight points to go with seven rebounds and five assists. Becker's with the left hand gets the whistle. And will shoot two. An 11-point UConn lead. Winner heads to the Elite Eight. Beckers will pull up from the mid-range and bury it in Paige Beckers. Now with 12 points. From doing the same, UConn shooting 59%. Beckers, oh, what a delivery to Edwards for the finish. Her head in the backcourt. There's a five on four here for UConn. Edwards will take advantage with a bucket plus the foul. UConn leading Iowa. Dickers, a three. Truth. The big response from the freshman. Three-point range better than 44% this afternoon. Dickers, again. Gave it up in the corner, Makarad, why not? The reigning defensive player of the year, a finalist for it this season as well. Beckers had a look, didn't take it, now will and hit. Paige Beckers, difficult shot. Position, and they've got a forward who can do what Smith just did, get the board and handle herself. Edwards comes up with a steal. Beckers lines it up and knocks it down. And I think there's a lot of coaches listening said, yeah, I could have a good time with Paige Beckers and Aaliyah Edwards. <laughs> Beckers back door, lays it in. Nice delivery from Nelson Adota. Beckers secures it. Everything you hope for oh, so this far? <laughs> tremendous. Beckers, the pull-up is good. The freshman Beckers with nine in the opening quarter of the Elite Eight. Beckers thought about it. Beckers, the pull-up. Oh, yeah. Kim Mulkey thought Griffin caught Urson on the wrist. Beckers splitting the D. Couldn't finish, but is fouled. In time, these teams have ever met in the NCAA tournament. They met in the semifinals back in 2010. A UConn win as Beckers slips inside for two. Westbrook, back door. Beckers got hit, and Paige Beckers is going to shoot two. Egbo has it knocked away. Beckers trying to flag it down. Look out from behind. She gets crushed. And Paige Beckers will shoot two. 
at least 20 in each of the last three entering tonight. Beckers, nice cut to free herself for two. It's a 20-point evening for the freshman. Freshman Sarah Andrews in for her and has her pass stolen. Beckers, a three. You bet! That ended, though, for Connecticut with an on-ball screen for Paige Beckers. Beckers, the leaner, rolls in! 25 for Beckers! Hit Williams and not her. Here's Beckers, another three. You bet! Paige Beckers is feeling it! Percent from three or last 14 games. That won't go. Edwards the offensive rebound. Beckers will pop and hit from downtown. The freshman scored against Westbrook, so huge second foul on Nelson Adota. Here is Beckers through the lane, got hit. And Paige Beckers, after taking some big contact, has it. Falls and tosses it to Yukon. Here's Beckers in transition. Paige Beckers gets fouled as she leaned into Thomas, and Paige will go to the line to shoot two. 90 NCAA championships. Beckers connects on a long two. Really nice job. Williams double. Nelson Adota finds Beckers. Beckers mid-range. Got it. Donald out of the game now. Her teammates have done such a good job. Adia Barnes giving her a little rest at the end of the third. Westbrook knocks down the corner three. Here comes Beckers. Beckers. Elevates, can't hit, but was fouled by Thomas. And Paige Beckers is going to go to the line to shoot two. Found Beckers after the box out from Nelson Adota. Connecticut has missed its last six shots. Williams connects. In, just couldn't finish. Here comes Beckers. Still time for UConn. Beckers unable. Yes, she gets the roll. And it's a seven-point game. That's the last seven for Arizona. Under a minute and a half to go. Beckers connects on a three. Beckers around the screen. Beckers inside. Edwards able to catch and finish. It's back to five.